What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm checking out Sycamore Falls. It's passing Flagstaff. This hour, this is like a three and a half hour drive from my house. Uh, there's snow melting and it's been raining lately, which makes for perfect waterfalls and good landscape. Um, I wanted to go ahead and translate that for a little bit because uh, I know I have viewers and some family members that say they don't understand me when I speak uh, English because they only speak Spanish. So, hola a todos. Muchas gracias para regresar a mi canal. Hoy voy a visitar un lugar que se llama Sycamore Falls. Ahorita es el mejor tiempo del año para ir si quieres ver cascadas. So, vámonos. So the road ended and I'm on this dirt road, it's paved and I'm basically going to be on this for another 7 miles but I researched this online and low clearance vehicles can also make it. It's nothing to worry about but I am going to go slow just to be safe. So I am finally off that dirt road which I'm very grateful for. I'm back on the street, hopefully this will take me straight to the parking lot trailhead. Anyways, I have about 5 miles left so on we go. And never mind guys, we are back on this dirt road and here we go again. But the good news is now I'm only about two miles away. As you guys can just see, I had to cross the water because it was flooded and my car wouldn't have been able to make it. But I crossed it and now I'm about two and a half miles away, so I'm gonna have to walk the rest of the way. But I don't mind, that's fine. So let's resume. pretty muddy it's been raining a lot these past few days so your shoes are gonna get pretty messed up but it's all good it should be a short walk to the falls if that's what your main goal is the rest of the hike is probably about more than 10 miles I'm not gonna be doing that today I don't have enough daylight or time but on we go once again All right guys, so for a while I thought I was lost. I thought I was gonna have to cross all that water back there. There was no way I was gonna be able to do that without getting wet. And I really didn't wanna get in, but I found this little sign. So that means this is back on the trail, which is a good sign. So let's get back to it. Just so you know you're going the right way. The little rock formations. Alright, so for so long, I thought that I was lost because I couldn't find any trail. But it's just washed out right now because of all the rain, so it's very muddy. My shoes are all messed up, but it's all good. I finally got here. You can probably hear it in the background. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what it looks like. Check this out.
I just wanted to update you guys that I'm done with the trail. I was almost going to turn back at the first waterfall back there, but some guys told me there was a second one, which is actually the main one. Look around me, you can see plenty of water because it's spring, so the water's flowing from the snow melting. You know, it was a very nice trip. I definitely recommend it if you get the chance to do so. For me, it's time to head home. The sun's heading down, and I don't want to hike back in the dark. So that's it for today, guys. Until next time, and stay tuned for the next video.